Welcome to the Wind Forecast product demonstration. I have started Wind Forecast up and I'm immediately presented with a new forecast screen which I'm able to enter relevant information. So we'll do a demonstration topic. We're able to enhance and enter descriptions as to why or what the reasons are for the forecast and we're able to set our start dates and the length of the forecast from April 2008 2009 through one year, two years, up to some 50 odd years. So this instance will deal with one. Yep. We can also change our currency symbol. So having pressed OK on the heading section, I'm immediately presented with my standard default template. This template is just a forecast base there. So we have sales sections, cost sections, overhead sections, other income, assets, loans, other assets, capital sections. We are able to create as many new sections as we wish, which each time we create a new section, it takes the properties of the area above. So we'll have two sales sections, um, revenue and sales, etc. And we can create different costs to match with that. Each section can be flexed, so when we get to flexing, which is what if analysis, we can actually just flex a whole section. You may type a individual description for each section, sales of company A. Right. When forecast then allows us to create records, so records are the baseline of our forecasting products, so we will create different records which are given a name and you for an income record have three types of income. Income, separately invoiced income or an accrued and prepaid income. Each of these tell wind forecast how to handle them, such as an accrual and prepayment immediately sets up a balance sheet account to recognise the accrual or prepayment. You can apply the appropriate GST rate if you wish or as within the system we can create more GST rates and add those and select those. Each product record can be allocated and created in a currency and under each record we can have a details for calculation. Okay. So we can have as many records within each section as we wish and they can be labelled. Cost records can be created. The costs have a few more types of records, so we obviously have a standard cost record, accrued and prepaid cost. We support a stock record. So the stock record immediately creates a balance sheet account and allows us to work on certain formula as the calculation of stock, which we'll look at. We can also have a wages type record, which allows us to calculate the PAYE schedules and apply slightly different rules for payment cycle. We can also have separately invoiced costs and separately invoiced stock. So we will set up a couple more of these just to straight costs record um, stock which we didn't do and we'll create that type stock. In our overhead sections we can create more sections to reflect the administration versus uh, marketing, so to speak. Sorry. So within marketing, we can have a record type such as advertising, staff costs, which are wages, rebates. Under our administration, we can add, create the records appropriate to administration, so rent, which could be a prepaid record, power, and so on. So as you can see, you can create as many records as you wish and within that and develop and format your forecast. Additionally, we do have a facility to import records out of something such as Excel to create the record list created, or we can export the record list directly to a clipboard and then paste that into Excel. So we have quite a large range of flexibility of data. 
We then move into some of the balance sheet items, so we can create our fixed assets, plant, we can incorporate our loans from the bank, bank loan, you see here you're provided two options for that, manually calculated or calculated loan, and we can establish other assets. When forecast, while you're creating the forecast, automatically handles the bank account, stock, trade creditors, debtors, accruals, prepayments, GST and PAYE. So having those been handled, there will be a few other records that can be need to be kept, kept created and they can be all set up in here. So a new record in the other section of liabilities can cover anything from current assets, liabilities, other creditor debtor, grants, bank account, loan made, manually entered loan, such as shareholders, loan or advance account. Okay. Capital accounts, obviously we have a retained earnings, paid up capital, and various other account records. And MEMO records which allow us to support non-statistical data such as number of staff. Okay, having created our record list, what we now do is actually start to forecast or budget the product. So let's start at the top with product sales, it's an income record, enter data, and we're presented with the screen. So enter sales dollars as our first option, we'll have $1,000 a month, we get paid in 45 days. So you immediately now can see that what Wind Forecast is doing, it is preparing the cash flow at the same time. So the options under cash flow include manually entering receipts, a day's credit option, which I can say for these periods are here all 45, but in December it goes out to 55, January is 55, and what you can see here is the cash flow being reflected of that change, including GST. Payment profile, we get 10% up front, 60% 30 days, and the balance 60 days, so you're able to model your cash flow in a different profile like that, or we'll have a facility to do hotlink. So this is the cash flow section to the right, now we're doing the budgeting. So I've done $1,000 into all, I'm also presented a range of different methods of budgeting. I can use a profile, so a profile can be set up to spread, I can calculate from units, we're going to sell $100 units, and we're going to sell most months, we're going to sell 400 of them, except for in October we're going to sell 500, 600 in November, 700 in December, and 300 in January. As you can see, our figures are extrapolated and our cash flow is calculated for us. So that's a product type record. I can drill from each of here to the different types of products, so without leaving the screen I can then set up, calculate as a percentage of sales. For product C is 80% of all product that we initially set up. Other options within this is as a percentage of wages, so wages plus 50%. The MIMO records, using formula, using sales units or from employees. Giving you another look at this, I can also use what's called a hot link. So a hot link allows me to actually access data from an external product source such as Sage Accounts Line 50 or 500, 200. Another forecast or commonly used by a lot of our clients, spreadsheets. So what it then allows me to do is go to my desktop, my wind forecast files, and forecasted bottle sales, and link that in. By saying OK to that, I can now choose this range of data, and say OK, presents it in this format, and this is now linked to wind forecast. The advantage of this is you update your, uh, your Excel spreadsheet and your forecast is therefore updated when you next open it. So the hot linking allows you to link it to those sort of products and handle some complex arrangements. Purchases, stock record, showing, how you, how, showing you how this works. We will decide that we will use a percentage of sales calculation and all our purchases come from the same supplier, so we'll link all the purchase records, and we buy it for 50%. So that's our stock usage, cost of sales. We will also decide that we will hold stock in the balance sheet, 
and we can calculate that as a number of minutes or number of days that we handle. So we can say we hold 45 days of stock on hand. And on the right hand side you can see obviously that all of our cash flow is catered for. Options ranging within here to adding in units, so we use batches of units, which we need to have sales features. And here you have the protection methods. Right, so we'll just close out of that record. It's in there.